Hello, Magical Butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. Hope you are having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today is going to be another edition of Butterfly Talk with Extina. Today's topic is appreciation. One of the biggest lessons of 2020 is showing you what appreciation is. There has been so much taken away and given to you, and it's causing an awakening in all of you. Now, whether you choose to go through this awakening is entirely up to you. In this video, I will go over topics where you will want to be appreciated and in the same capacity, show appreciation to others. This will be a general collective reading so this is not going to resonate with everyone. Please use your own discernment when listening and watching this video. Please only take the messages or message that resonate with you and your situation and leave the rest behind. The way you will know if a message resonates with you, you will feel like I'm speaking directly to you. If you are trying to make it fit, then the message is simply not for you, so please do not take it. I will be going through the Sacred Destiny Oracle deck by Denise Lin. I felt guided to use this entire deck and I intuitively chose cards and put them into four different sections to kind of help the topics on wanting to be appreciated and where you should be showing appreciation. Because like with anything in your life, there should always be equal give and take. The first section is healing chaos. Just want to adjust my camera here so we get the full view of the cards. So healing chaos means you want to transform whatever conflict, block obstacles, chaos that is currently happening in your life. You have the power to transform it simply by changing the way you look at a situation, the way you view a situation, the way you think of it. And if you put your focus on focusing on the solution rather than the problem, what happens is you begin the, the approval of approving and um, really just resolving this problem. I hope that made sense. I don't know why approving kept coming out, but spirit wanted that word to come out. Approving means that you're approving of yourself taking this chance to heal the chaos because you're showing appreciation for yourself. Embracing. Embracing who you are and embracing people for who they are will show appreciation on an equal give and take level. You appreciate yourself for who you are, what you have gone through, and you appreciate others for being who they are. You don't want people to pretend to be someone that they're not and of course, you don't want to be someone that you're not. So embracing, healing the chaos is going to really help get you on the level of appreciation. Putting the focus on you and focus on your dreams, your desires, your goals will help you put the focus on appreciating the finer things in life, the simple things in life, you will just appreciate everything in your life and you will just appreciate everything that has happened, even things that have hurt you. You will understand that everything happens for you, not to you, and you will be able to start moving forward to heal the chaos. Stillness. Appreciating the stillness in a love connection, the non-action, if you and your person are separated with no communication. The same goes for standstill. If there's a standstill in this love connection or the situation where you feel, why can't it go forward? It's because chaos has to be healed. You too have to appreciate the connection. You too have to see it as a blessing and not a burden. Going into a period of solitude will really help you appreciate what needs to be healed in your life, 
what your person needs to heal or the person if you're dealing with if it's not a love partner could be a friend a family member a co-worker or maybe you just need to go into solitude to really see what you want maybe you don't feel appreciated if you're in a job situation that you hate and you don't feel appreciated maybe you need to heal the chaos in that situation and walk away and embrace a new beginning protection even in your most darkest hours you are never alone you are always protected by God the universe spirit the angels your spirit guides whoever you connect with that you pray to you are protected your angels and your guides are always with you and they can come in and help you if you need some tips on how to heal this chaos or if you just need some signs and synchronicities that you're on the right path ask them for a sign ask them how do I do this and appreciate whatever they send you security being secure appreciating what you have even if it's not a lot 2020 has been a very tough year for a lot of people a lot of people have lost their jobs their homes or they are on minimal work or they're on a minimal budget and depending on where you live you could be in a place where you're not allowed to go anywhere and businesses are still closed whatever the situation is be appreciative for the security that you have be appreciative that you have a home you have a roof over your head you have a car you have food in your house you have the ability to get more food and you have the ability to have that financial security where one day the money will just keep coming in in a steady flow like it did in the past just know that you're healing the chaos you're you're going through emotion where maybe in the past you didn't appreciate the little things and now you are and that is making you feel more secure because a lot of us had to make our home secure because we spend so much time at home and that's your sanctuary now relaxation is also key with being secure at home making your home your zen nest making your home the place where you feel protected the place where you feel safe your your little escape from reality where you can turn off the tv you don't have to watch the news you don't have to see on social media what's going on in the world in your area and you just kick back and just watch a movie um, a tv show watch uh, read a book, listen to a book, listen to music, meditate, create something. Being appreciative of what you have and what you don't have will set you free. Because you just need to be flexible to know that your thoughts create your reality and you can bring in this appreciation. So if you feel you're not appreciated, by someone let's say it's a boss you have to ask yourself do you appreciate the company you work for do you show your boss appreciation or do you push back just as much as your boss pushes back now my voice started to crack which means someone in a work situation is not speaking their truth and they're not being completely honest that they're creating this situation because they're refusing to heal the chaos so being flexible in seeing a situation through the eyes of the other person and seeing it through your eyes is where you can come into the middle and you can be able to heal the chaos within you to get to that appreciative state where you see this job as a lesson to help you catapult to the next level. When you do that, you will get into delight. You will be like a bird. You'll be ready to fly free and, and proud and go wherever you want to because you'll then go into the enlightenment where you're enlightened and you're awakened and you're ready to embark on this new journey that is part one part two is going to be about taking risks so taking risks can be very scary but when you take risks you're really able to be appreciative of the miracles that want to come in for you. Now you see how there's a rainbow on that card? Blessings, new beginnings, a shift in your, the way you think, 
the way you act. You've taken one step forward by taking a risk and that's showing the universe you appreciate yourself. You appreciate what they have been showing you, what they have been guiding you to do. And now you're ready to manifest this miracle because you have the wisdom. The wisdom that you have learned from the past that got you to the energy of being enlightened and taking that risk. You're ready to go on adventures and these adventures are going to be so different than the adventures you have had in the past because now that you're awakened and you're enlightened what happens is you become more open to the you see things differently you appreciate the journey you're not solely focused on the destination and where you're wh what you're going to get out of it you enjoy the entire ride even the bumps in the roads opportunity an opportunity will present itself once you start taking risks because you're getting the ball in motion you're showing the universe this is the direction I want I do want this desire that I have put out into the universe that I have set an intention for so you're ready to have it manifest in your life now you have to be appreciative for the opportunity that is going to present itself to you by being open by being illuminated that this is going to come to you if it's meant for you and your vibration must match your desire 100% and you have to stay detached. That being detached is something that everyone struggles with so if you struggle with it, you are not alone. Everyone struggles with it, myself included. Detaching from an outcome, having an expectation, having a timeline and really just telling yourself how something is gonna manifest can really stagnate a connection can stall something and can keep it from coming through and that's when self-sabotage happens. So by staying open to how something is going to come about, it really catapults you forward into taking that risk and continuing to fly high. And what happens is you get courage. You have this appreciation for being strong and for being brave and being fearless. And you're not afraid to face any obstacle because you appreciate whatever obstacle or tower moment gets in your path because you're ready to move forward on your new journey. Everything is illuminated to you, even through the bad days and the good days. Now you see like this card reminds me of a rainstorm is coming in or what it looks like when a rainstorm has ended. Remember rain is healing, rain cleanses. So you're, whatever that happens is the same thing during a full moon. You're shown what needs to go. You trust. You have an appreciation for your intuition. You trust yourself. You appreciate any spiritual gifts that you have, whether you're psychic or you're an empath or you're just intuitive where you've really just tapped into your intuition because you know your intuition is going to guide you. And you're appreciative for the truth. You are ready for the truth you are ready for you to speak your truth. You are ready for everyone to speak their truth to you. Being in your truth, being appreciative for the truth, no matter what it is, whether it's something you want to hear or something you don't, remember, you're taking a risk. So if it doesn't pan out the way you expected it to, don't be discouraged because it's not failure. You tried. The only true failure is when you don't try at all. When you're appreciative of the journey and taking these risks, you release. You release what has been keeping you stuck, what has been keeping you from moving forward. You become diligent. You're committed to diligence, to doing the work, to continuing to fly high above the clouds so you could see and keep moving forward on your journey. You see the potential by being appreciative for every single moment of your life that has led you to where you are right now. And you're appreciative for each gateway that opens up that brings you to your new beginning, your new journey, and your new awakening, your new cycle in your life. The next part of this reading is going to be about blessings. Being appreciative for the blessings that are coming into your life. When you have blessings coming into your life, no matter how big or small,
being appreciative of them keeps you in this thriving energy. It keeps you into manifesting abundance into your life. You have a blessing in your community. Now, this could be the community you live in or your inner circle, your friends, your family, your lover, your co-workers. You transform into this loving energy, this appreciation. You see the world through rose-colored glasses where you just see the beauty in everything. And you just let people be who they are. You don't try to control anything. And you're just, just in the moment with every person and situation that you're in. You're appreciative for all the success that you have had, have, and will have, and you're not afraid to go get it. You're appreciative of the inner peace that you have found within yourself because you decided to stand in your power, take back your power, and to really catapult yourself moving forward. You are appreciative of being happy by making yourself happy and by spreading that happiness to others whether it's paying it forward in some capacity or doing something nice for a loved one. You're appreciative for being able to offer forgiveness to yourself, to others, so you can permanently let go of the past so you are able to move forward. You are appreciative of the action that you take day after day. You understand if something doesn't go to plan, you don't get discouraged because there's a blessing and lesson in everything and every day is a brand new day to take flight and to start new and to have that freedom to be free as a bird. The last section is going to be about transformation. Transformation is one of my favorite cards in this deck because it has a butterfly and butterflies are about transformation. So you are now the butterfly and you are no longer the caterpillar. You're appreciative of love, past love relationships, the ones that didn't work out because you now see the pattern that you went down with each love relationship. You see the pattern that your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, just love relationships that adults had when you were a child, how they influenced how you looked at love and the type of relationships you attracted. You are now transformed into being open and centered and balanced in your heart chakra and you're able to attract and bring in the love of a lifetime. This love is a purification. The sunflower shows me brighter days are ahead. Everything that has been keeping you stuck has been washed away and you intuitively feel change is coming and you're very appreciative of this change in this cycle and you're ready for this new beginning. Now, if this is not resonating in love, this could represent a job, your home life, where you live, anything in your life that you have transformed out of and have a new outlook on. Going forward, you're appreciative of going forward, following your own yellow brick, yellow brick road to your sunshine, to your happiness and you're not afraid to go on this road by yourself because your angels are with you. They will be with you every step of the way. You will find pleasure in going on this road by truly finding yourself and being appreciative for finding the strength to transform and to get on this path. You will be appreciative for all the hardships you experience in your life to get you to this leadership role you will also be in this wolf energy where you're not afraid to go after what you want and you will do it in a very innocent, pure energy. You will be very appreciative for all your wish fulfillments and everything that comes to you because you see life through the eyes of love. You are appreciative of everything going with the flow no matter how fast or how slow because if something is going slow you know something is going to be illuminated to you that is going to help you move forward in the future you're appreciative of the wonders of life everything that you have everything that you have had and everything that you will have you're appreciative of patience learning the true meaning of patience and learning that what is meant for you will never pass you by and most importantly, you're appreciative of the voyage, the journey, 
where it's getting you and where you're about to go. Because remember, as you evolve and you grow and ascend and you change, so does your thoughts, so does your outlook on life. And everything continues to go higher and higher and higher until you reach everything that you desire. I hope that this reading brought you clarity and guidance. If it's resonating with you and you would like to go into the extended reading that is on my Patreon, where I will just pull guidance from spirit just to give you some messages to help you um, get on this path, whether you're in stage one, two, three, or four, or you just want overall guidance to help you on your journey. My Patreon link is below. It is a monthly subscription starts as low as $5.55 a month. I do post all of my extended readings on there. I do exclusive content for Patreon members. I have giveaways. I do free readings for each tier level. All the information is on my Patreon if you're interested. If not, I hope this reading helped you. Let me know if it did in the comment section below. If you want to book a personal guidance reading or session, they are booked exclusively in my Etsy shop. The link is below. I do sell decks in my Etsy shop. I have a Spirit Baby message deck, Butterfly Messages from Spirit deck, and I have a new deck that I created with Samantha Rodman, who is a psychic medium and my soul sister. We created a Swan Butterfly Twin Flame music deck. If you're interested in the pre-order launch that I'm, we're having, you can go to my Etsy shop and check those out. Now, to buy decks, if you're United States, you can purchase in my Etsy shop. If you're international, please message me. You can email me. My email is butterflyintuition1111 at gmail.com, and I will send you a special ordering link. Wishing you a beautiful and magical day. Sending you love and light. <laughs>